Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can edit your Odoo site. So let's get right into it. As you'll see, currently I'm on my dashboard and I have the website module set up. You can set this up either through the apps menu or you can even set it up while setting up your uh, database, which is what this is. And once you have it set up, you can then start editing your website. So if I go into website, as you'll see, I already have a sort of rudimentary setup right over here. I have this map over here and I have these sort of, uh, I forgot what they were called. I'll check it out just in a second. Uh, but what you need to do to change anything here is you need to click on edit in the top right. And now you can start editing your site. Now these here are columns, I'm pretty sure. So you can click on them and change them however you want. You can add elements, delete elements, do pretty much whatever it is that you want. So let me just delete this entire block and add new ones at a later time. And let me just delete this map again. And as you can see now that it's empty, it's telling me to drag a block there. So I'm just gonna drag images and select the type of image that I would like. So for example, this one is sort of a collage. So let's add that. You can add a contact form, for example, and pretty much it's similar to Wix, uh, Squarespace, and other sort of services that are similar. Uh, you can discard any changes right over here, or you can click save to save them. You can click on them to change their properties in the customize uh, field or the customize menu, or you can change the theme of your site as a whole. You can change your logo. However, I'm pretty sure you can do that outside of the uh, app or outside of the database uh, or outside of your account in general or on the main page. Forgot exactly where, but you can change it. Then just click save and it'll give you a, an SEO alert if your page title hasn't been set or if your SEO is not optimized. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You can click new to create new pages. You can toggle this on or off in case you want it to be published or not. And that is pretty much the gist of it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.